Hello people lovers, welcome by a new YouTube video for Happy Kid Club. It's Josephine here with another process video for you. And um, in this process video I made my first mini album for Happy Kid Club. And I'm so excited. I saw these metal dies in tech shape and I thought immediately that I want to make a mini album of these gorgeous uh, tags. So, but first I start with the cover and I cut two pieces from a cardboard uh, and the size of those two pieces are four inch by five and a half inch and I cut them with my craft knife and a, a ruler and here I use uh, adhesive tape to wrap my um, cardboard uh, in design paper and I use beautiful uh, light blue and with the light flowers um, design paper from the main kit and uh, I thought this is a great uh, design paper for my winter mini album. I wrapped the design paper around my uh, craft board and uh, I cut another piece of design paper uh, 4 by 5 inch. I stitched the edges with gold sewing treats and put it on top of my um, card board. It's time to punch some tags from the pocket page card and I don't uh, use these pocket page cards uh, a lot so it's a challenge for me and I definitely want to use this pocket page card for this mini album and I think it's a great idea to use your a pocket page card uh, for a mini albums uh, of things like that and I'm very happy that I can use them now for this cute little winter mini that I make for Hippie Kid Club. And I punched out several shapes uh, from, oh, uh, with these um, gorgeous metal uh, dies in tech shape from the Hippie Kid Club. I uh, punched a lot of text from uh, the pocket page cards and um, I want to decorate these uh, text with the chipboard frames, the tech and tech die cuts, um, the word stickers, uh, word uh, chipboards, uh, banners and um, there are so many, uh, so many gorgeous um, embellishments um, in this uh, beautiful December uh, kit from the Hippie Kid Club and um, now it's time to uh, stitch my uh, tags with some gold treats and I use my sewing machine and here you see all my tags has a great uh, look with the golden stitches uh, on the edges I use some volume I, um, I made volume pockets uh, on a card and stitched them with my sewing machine and all the little tabs I stitched them uh, to with the, the golden treats uh, with my sewing machine. And um, it's now time to decorate my uh, tags. And um, I start with um, the chipboard frames and uh, I want to make a cluster on this uh, tag and I use um, a chipboard frame I use them for uh, in half and I cut the chipboard frame in half and uh, with my um, scissor and uh, I made a cluster from a die cut a round die cut shape and some um, treat some pink treat and um, I love how they turn out
yeah, I decorate uh, a tag uh, with a beautiful cardstock uh, flower, chipboard, uh, chipboard flower, and I place it on top of the yellow tag, uh, put some, some more strips, and um, uh, I use 3D foam to put the yellow tag on top of another um, tag that I punched out with the metal dies from the HipKit Club, and uh, I use 3D foam, so um, you have more dimension in your text and uh, I love how they turn out. I already made a lot of tags and cards and I love to use some value in between my tags. Uh, it gives a nice look through and now it's time for another tag and I use a frame and some uh, pink, light pink threads and I um, uh, go around and around and around the, um, the chipboard frame and so I created a, a cool um, design with some uh, a light pink treat and uh, my car stock um, frame and I put a word sticker uh, on top of the, um, the frame uh, and um, I decided to use um, a light tag December stories and I put it on top of the white tag and the pink looks so uh, so cute together and um, I use some die cut stars and put them on top and my tag is ready to go so it's not it's 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 very easy to do and um, it looks it looks great so um, definitely want to use um, more often uh, frames and some a treat here I use a cuttle buck uh, die uh, in a butterfly shape and I cut the butterfly from a dark blue design paper and some pallium. I stitch the wings together with some gold treats and put them on top of a tag and I decorate it further with some board strips. So another tag is is done and I think it's easy peasy. So we go to the next and I use a die cut and some vellum and I use some taggy glue to put the vellum on top of um, maybe behind the die cut and on top of the vellum I place some brush strips. On this tag I made two pockets from Vellum and I stitched the edges with some gold thread and here I'm looking for the right die cuts that I want to use for this tag and the two little tags uh, in the pockets. I searched for the right die cuts, stitched to get the word cozy on, uh, on, this um, on this tag and put it in the Vellum pocket. And here um, I use a photo for me and my husband at New Year's Eve and um, I put, uh, put a word strip on top of the picture and a little um, tap uh, above uh, on this uh, photo. It's um, um, in this mini album is um, all the um, sweet pictures from my family with New Year's Eve. I put them together and um, and put some uh, notes um, in this mini album and I type uh, some uh, poems with my typewriter machine and, and type them on volume and put them uh, on a, a stitch them um, uh, to my text as a memory and I love how this mini book uh, turned out. 
and uh, I'm very happy how um, with the result. Here I cut some photos uh, with a tag uh, with the metal die um, in in tag shape, and um, added um, die cut flower and a wash wrap on top, and that's it. And uh, I think it's look it's look great, and uh, put these uh, photo tags. Um, behind um between the all those other texts that i made for this um mini album now it's time for the cover uh, to make a, the cover of this mini album and i got two texts um with the metal dies from a dark blue design paper put it on the front and between the, um, the design paper layers and i use adhesive tape to uh, stick the, t uh, the text um, uh, on the front of my cover and i used some silver ribbon to make a bow I love the uh, chipboard frames with um, the pink uh, treat, um, so I do it again and I uh, going around and around with my uh, pink um, treats and um, I place the frame on top of the uh, one of uh, on top of my mini album on the tag on the dark blue tag and here I made a, ri a bow uh, from the silver ribbon. I used some 3D foam to hold my uh, bow in place and now it's time to decorate my mini uh, album cover further with the frame and the chipboard number 2022 uh, and use some um, war strips and put, uh, put them on some volume and um, cut it to size and I make um, black uh, borders around my watch strips uh, with my um, ruler and my uh, fine liner, black fine liner. And now I decorate my mini album cover further with some die cuts. With my cropper doll, I made some. Um, holes in um, the cover at uh, the back and front from my mini album and now it's time to put all these texts that I made with pictures and word strips and die cuts and all the gorgeous embellishments from the December kit and put them um, uh, in this uh, little tech mini album and I'm very happy how uh, with the results and I love uh, the colors and the volume that I use in this uh, mini album for a nice look through and um, I'm very happy how this uh, mini album turned out my first mini album for Happy Kids Club and I love it I am very happy with this uh, cute little uh, winter mini so um, I hope you enjoy watching my uh, video for Hip Kids Club uh, I had a lot of fun with this mini album and I hope um, that you get some great ideas. And don't forget to check the website and the Facebook group, the blog, uh, for more beautiful inspiration uh, from the other designers uh, from the, uh, that they made with the December uh, kits from the Hip Kit Club. And uh, I hope to see you next. Um, I hope to see you next time on YouTube. For, uh, with another process video and for now I wish you a beautiful and crafty day bye bye friends mm -hmm.